Hey guys, welcome to Chester Channel's guide on how to complete the Nadir from Enix Saga for the full 100%. This will be a walkthrough and if you follow all the steps I take you should be fine. You need to have found the damage device on furnished floors 18 to 22 to start this saga and then we can just start by talking to this guy I'm standing next to, his cauldron. You just click start saga and he'll ask you which one and you want to choose this one. The rewards are uh, about 20k engineering speed, which is not too bad considering uh, it's pretty low level and uh, it takes like 25 minutes to do it, 25 to 30 minutes. So yeah, let's start. So we start off with a cutscene. Um, yeah, it's important that you watch all the cutscenes. Like they're they're not boring or anything. They're like uh, there's a lot of story in it and also if you do not watch all the cutscenes um, you will probably not get the 100% so you would have to do the saga again which which I did of course because I like them <laughs> but uh, some people might consider it a waste of time well here you see Moye which is the char character you will be playing as and uh, she's at the ritual stone um, known for featuring in the quest ritual of the Majora and there's two Majorat here, uh, the big bloke on the left now is Lucian, and to the right is Zemoregal. I don't know if I cor uh, like correctly uh, pronounce that, but that's not the point. And they're talking about uh, these tracks and uh, the ritual stone like seem to have been moved. Well, at least they tried because they couldn't, but yeah, they're like uh, considering what to do next. And uh, shortly, you as Moya will get that task to hunt down one particular Majora who was not at the last ritual. Uh, and yeah, you will have to hunt down Bill Rag. Um, consider this is 500 years ago, uh, so just after the last ritual. And yeah, here you get the task to uh, hunt down Bill Rag. Come on, hurry the fuck up, right? <laughs> Wanna start this? <laughs> Alright, so there we go off. And then Lucian says uh, we should not fail him because Moya is his daughter. Like, uh, we're playing as a half Majorat. Okay, so now we jumped 499 years and it's now one year ago, like in the current RS time. And we're at Demonheim. Yeah, just we're gonna inspect those crates, so just run over there. Nothing to be missed here because you will get automatically in this cutscene. And you will see this sort of smuggler guy, a merchant who has been transporting stuff into into Demonheim. And uh, this is him thing that Bill Rag, uh, well, they refer to him as Bill, but we think Bill Reg is down there, then. so that's the main reason we're gonna explore Demonheim in this saga. So she's contacting Lucian. He says you need more proof, so yeah, we're gonna go and get it. So Moya has a special ability that she can uh, read minds, like she has to plan certain things into the mind of a victim, and then she can read the mind. So. I'll just let you listen to the sound because the sound is really important here. If the sounds get all beat up, then you're on the correct spot and you should plant one of these strange devices. There. You can also see that the circle on screen starts pulsating when uh, you actually found this, uh, a place to put it see there it was pulsating again and the sound was different so then you have to plant one if you do all that correctly you should get all the three bars like full blue which means uh, you fully unlocked the mind of the victim so yeah I've been searching here now I couldn't find it really <laughs> 
but yeah, there we go, there it is. This puzzle is not the same for every account, so don't rely on uh, just watching this. You just have to pay close attention to the sound and see when the uh, circle is really like, uh, like pulsating, and then you should plant it. No, you only have like one chance for every every plant, so don't mess up. If you mess up, just start the saga again because if you mess up this, you can't get the hundred percent anymore. Okay, so we killed him, and now we took on his identity, and we can't run now, which is kind of frustrating. <laughs> oh well, we'll get there. A fucking old man. But yeah, we learned that he was actually a Zamorakian monk and he was smuggling things inside uh, Demona. And later in the saga we'll actually see what that was. Okay, so we're now on the frozen floors, keep walking like an old man for God's sake. Time we took on a new ident identity, like, this is slow. Oh, that, that looks like a cool victim to get a new identity from. Yeah, so just click that door, uh, which you won't be able to open anyway, but uh, this guy will spot you, and yeah, he will tell you to come near, and yeah, that was probably the biggest mistake in his life, and he will never make a mistake again after that. See, so we're traveling into the mind of the victim again, and we have to plant these devices again. So be sure to get them correctly, don't, don't mind if you take quite some time. It's really important that you get them all right, otherwise you have to start over again, and it takes way more time to do that, so it's, it's more efficient to waste some ticks here and actually get it right. Yeah, I took my time as well and got them all right. So that's awesome. And now he will obviously die, and we will take on his identity, which makes it quite a bit better because we can actually run. Like, oh my god, we can run! See, that's us now. So let's get a move on. Oh, this mage appears. Yeah, just get the fuck off. Okay, I tell you to get the fuck off. I'm the captain. Yeah, just run through this room, nothing like really here, he starts talking to himself like whatever. Just spam click through the conversation here, nothing really important. Yeah, so he's telling you, uh, you should be careful to answer things correctly or they will know that you're not actually the captain. Okay, so... We reached a saga checkpoint as you can see in the bottom left of the screen. So if you log out now you can restart the saga on this point. Be sure to enter this dead end because otherwise yeah, you will probably not get 100%. Just enter all dead ends. I will not recommend this for normal engineering. <laughs> not at all or you will probably be caked. Okay so here we get the first question and you should answer got something to get off your chest soldier be my guest and then I'll be like okay that's cool and uh, he will still think you're the real captain so if you don't answer these right you will get a bunch of people uh, on your neck like in the last room of this uh, furnished themed floor okay so here is the next question you need to answer and you should say ask me later druff i have not time for you right now so if you do that you should be fine of him as well you will think you're the real captain 
Uh, note that these uh, options, like 1, 2, 3, are not always the same for everybody, so just look for the right answer in your list. Okay, so the answer here is tell them to wait there and no practice until I return. And then we have answered all the questions on this floor. Don't worry about the key and skill doors, you cannot open them anyway, so <laughs> you just open the normal go on normal doors and you do not have to worry about any other doors, which is awesome. Since you can get keys anyway. Someone's been hiding the keys. Okay, so enter this dead end. Do not forget to enter it and run all the way there so the dialogue comes up. And he's like, oh, there's nothing here. No shit, bro. It's a dead end. Like, <laughs> what do you expect? Then just uh, ignore the key door and go in there. But he senses something is wrong uh, because it's so quiet and yeah, right he is. Look at that. Oh my god, Necrolord, Necrolord, oh my god, no. Oh wait, he's not actually a Necrolord. That, that's awesome. So it's just like, what the fuck are you doing here? And you're like, okay, I will we'll just invade your mind like a fucking pro. See that? Oh. Oh. Okay, so here's the next sound pedal, and I'll just let you listen to the sound so you get used to it. As you can see I just systematically run down the whole screen and eventually you should find all three. And we've done the last mind puzzle. So there's three of them. Be sure to get all of them right. If you mess one up, you cannot get the 100% saga. Oh, so he actually doesn't die when we uh, do that. So use the special on him, so you have a lot, and then just finish him off normally. Since you don't have food, you can get very unlucky and die here, uh, which uh, has never happened to me, and I've done this saga three times now. Uh, but it's still possible, you, then you just... Um, restart the saga from your last checkpoint and do this little part again and call Jagex a bitch because yeah that would be awful anyway he's not dead so we can take on his identity oh we're such a cool necrolord right now but we can't spawn skeletons what is this and we talk to Lucian again and he still says yeah I get more information about Bill Reg. we need proof story bro. Okay we're now on the occult team floors which is kinda suitable for a necrolord. Pro tip for the engineering just don't do necrolord floors because even with a hex it's fucking annoying like if only one guy in your team has a hex. Okay so inspect this dead end run to there so you get the little dialogue again. Well dialogue more of a monologue really. There seem to be voices coming out of that portal. Yeah, that's a complete mindfuck. But yeah, it's always like that on the occult floors. I remember one time someone uh, went into the occult floors and he's, he's like, Oh my god, uh, am I going crazy? There's voices here. And we were like, no, of course not. Okay, so there you answer, cut off their hands, which is kind of creepy really. But yeah, that's the correct answer. <laughs> If you do not get these answers correct, you will get boned by Necrolords on the last like room of this floor, so be sure to get them right. And here you have to say, like he's gonna ask a question soon, and you will have to say, kill him or I will kill you. So they're just gonna like kill each other, that's great. No more necromancers on the occult floors, that's awesome. Ok, 
and here you start training portals uh, which give you energy which uh, get really important later on on the warp floors um, because you cannot let this portal energy uh, get lower than 0% I will explain it later more detailed because now it's not really important we're just gonna go to the next batch like the next question and here you have to say his body is on the floor above fetch it yourself I am busy so you're just kinda a bitch really but I guess that's what the guy has to be so yeah now you're saying <laughs> they didn't suspect who I am that's great her <laughs> her well that actually is great okay there's more portals so just click on them to get more HP yay HP free HP If only the w these were there on like real engineering floors, well, most people probably wouldn't be bothered here. They just suicide, no problem. Cool cutscene. Just don't skip out of it. I, I don't even know if you can, but just don't try it because you probably won't get the 100%. I've heard like people complain about that. Okay, and here we will be turned into ourselves again by this. Uh, Skin Weaver thingy, Stormbringer, I have no idea what it is. But see, we are ourselves again and we get the magic spells, that is because we drained the, the portals. Which we will have to do from now on the whole time. So if you uh, look at the special bar now, um, you see that it has changed into portal energy percentage and you cannot get get that like uh, to zero percent because then you won't get the a uh, hundred percent saga either so just drain all portals and yeah just don't let it get too close to zero percent whenever you go on like ten percent just be sure to be next to a portal to drain it because if you run out of it you are basically screwed So yeah, this is a really hard room. <coughs> that one AKO. Another one hit please. Thank you very much. <gasps> Why you no die? Really, music for such a hard GD, I guess. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, whatever. Okay, so now we should enter the warp floors in which the portal energy gets really important. So, uh, whenever you see your spec bar low, just drain it. You should not drain this portal I am draining now because you can return to that if your portal energy gets low and you're not at a portal yet. Because this room at the beginning is pretty messed up and you will take quite a long time to kill them just be sure to like uh, run uh, so you have the least amount of enemies on you so run into safe spots basically there's a lot of safe spots in these in this room like a lot of walls so you can hide behind those I now have two on me you can probably do better I mean, I'm kinda dying here and I already drained that water portal and there's no portal in this room so it's kinda screwed. But I still managed to do it, luckily. <laughs> it would be kind of a fail if I didn't like manage to do it on a guide. But yeah, so be sure to not drain the portal I uh, drained like a minute ago because the first first portal on the warp floor is just basically a backup for if you get low energy and health in this room which yeah I didn't think about that at first but that's why I'm warning you guys so I was low on health so I was just safe spotting the whole time here shame it doesn't work against the ranger though well he's still not getting that much hits on me so that's good and we just have the warrior left and yeah I tried to stay spot him kind of failed and I just kept running so he wouldn't hit me too much 
And he still hit fucking hard on me, of course. And one was dead, that's awesome. But yeah, my pearl energy, as you can see, is getting pretty low, so I had to get quickly into the into the other room. Because there is a portal and uh, you can like recharge your portal energy. It is really important to not get it to 0%. Uh, I just really want to keep telling you guys that because you would have to do the saga again from some certain checkpoint and you don't want to do that. You just want to get it like 100% on the first try. Let's see if we get 100% again. Then I don't know if this is required but this door doesn't open and just try to open it, it won't hurt you and it will probably make your way to 100%. It's only a few game ticks anyway. It's funny how people on RS don't even count in seconds anymore just in game ticks. Okay so this room is pretty easy, you just lure like uh, one of the guys a safe spot see there's a safe spot for example and you can just use this enormous wall or the crates as a safe spot see he's not gonna hit you then uh, notice that portal there um, just be sure that if you get like on 10% portal energy that you use that portal no use to use it earlier like just be sure you don't get uh, under a 5% because then if you run out you're just screwed the, you don't have to worry about dying here these do not hit hard at all and you can save spot really easily so stand there so the warrior didn't see you and it's pretty easy Just keep an eye on your portal energy, and you should be fine in this room, really. I failed to find safe spots here, <laughs> but yeah, just click there, and it's a safe spot again. Notice my portal energy is really low now, so after I kill this boss, I just run to that portal to get it to 100% again, and heal my life points, which is uh, pretty convenient as well, because there's gonna be more, some more fighting. However, the next room is really, really easy, like, if you just stand on on the spot where you spawn in that room, you will not get hit at all, like, there's only a warrior that will <laughs> probably hit you for a 50 or something, but that, that's not gonna matter at all. So, um, you may want to drain this portal, but you don't have to. I mean, I only got like 10% from it. But since there's a portal in this room as well, you could as well use it. There's plenty of portals from now on. The only tricky part is the beginning, really. The beginning of the warped uh, floors, anyway. So what I recommend is you're using the earth spells a lot, because it is kind of slow. I mean, you can get like a drink in between them, and she will still not have costed it. But... Uh, it is really accurate and yeah I use the fire spell or the water spells for the hellhounds because yeah they're relatively low defense anyway but yeah overall just use the earth spell to be honest because it's accurate and hits pretty high notice that portal over there after the fight you just use that one so you get to 100% for the next room I like how this saga can be started at like a 40 engineering and you can actually go into the warp floors to see how it is. Probably a, a business move on Jagex part to see how awesome the warp floors are because they really look really good. So what you do here in the next room, uh, you just run behind the wall really quickly after the cutscene ended so you will not have uh, most of the warriors find your back. And make sure you uh, lure the warrior that gets through. 
uh, also behind this uh, wall of blocks coming out of the wall really which is typical for the warp floors which you can really <laughs> use well now see you can just finish up the mage first and then finish up the warrior and heal of the portal uh, next to you now because there's two portals in this room so you can have plenty of portal energy and HP going with that so it's not really needed at this point to heal there but since you have two portals anyway you could just as well do it to get your full HP back and the full special bar Okay, so this one is there and the ranger and other warrior are still not bothering me. See, there's the second portal you can use, but just use that at the end of the room. Now we're gonna do the ranger. Just make sure that warrior is once again trapped, which is as I said really easy on this room. They've really helped us out with the layouts. Okay, Rangers that now just finish this one. Go and get a drink or something because yeah, <laughs> it goes pretty slow. And he's safe spotted anyway, there's nothing gonna happen to you. However, be sure to get back before your portal energy goes to zero because otherwise you're screwed. Right, so drain this portal energy and we should be almost done with the saga and get to the most epic part of this because there is a lot of cool uh, history of RS in this saga at the end of it yeah just some cutscenes here again dead bodies pretty cool then just enter the next room which should have your final objective in it. See it's the ritual stone that they thought they had moved but it's just uh, been assembled by the merchant you saw at the beginning it, in the crates were pieces of this and it was assembled back here and there is Bilreg the Majorat you were sent out to look for and you finally found him However, he's just talking nonsense, like he's been driven crazy by these portals and uh, the, just the warpness of the floors, I guess. Just the craziness in, in Demonheim. Probably the voices you hear coming out of the portals. So you contact Lucian again and say, well, it doesn't matter what you say, I just said he's no threat because he seems like a fucking lunatic at this point. Then however you start talking to him again, like you start murmuring like what the hell to do with this guy. And then he starts being normal again for some reason. He says he has his uh, like bright moments when he's not totally insane. And he says uh, that the next floor, like if, if you go down this floor, then there's one more floor and then uh, he will have reached his objective which we still do not know what that is in the engineering journals he's talking about a rift but we're not sure what's there either but yeah he is now like uh, asking Moya to come with him because it is apparently her destiny as being uh, offspring of Lucian she's only a half a Madra and he says she can be a goddess so she'll probably fall for that <laughs> who wouldn't I wouldn't because I'm a male, but no problem. So yeah, just read through this dialogue, it's really, really interesting. Because, yeah, y you can keep running all those thousands and thousands of floors to level up your engineering, but in the end, this is the cool part of it, like, and uh, the real story behind this. It it's really, really interesting. Better than a lot of books. I'm not gonna name them, but... So here he's saying that this is the real ritual stone. So we don't know what the ritual stone at the actual ritual site is now. 
but yeah, he's going down to the next floor and Moya will be joining him and that's for the next saga, for God's sake, what a cliffhanger. But yeah, really pumped for the next saga now, which has the codename Floor 61, because it's the lowest floor and the current lowest floor is Floor 60, of course. Okay, and there you see we got 100% and the unabridged book, which is what you want. Uh, for uh, here you can choose between thieving and attack experience. Uh, choose attack to be honest because it's like 37k I think and thieving only like 11k. Well, count out what, what would your favorite be. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically it. Um, if you enjoyed this guide and if it helped you, uh, be sure to give it a like and uh, subscribe for more guides like this. And yeah, thank you for watching guys.